What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got Russell Crowe leads the NRL promo video for the Las Vegas matches, a.k.a. the season opener for the NRL season. We about to run this up one time for the one time, man. And look, I'm already looking at tickets, man. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to this. I'm like 90% sure, man. So I'm already looking at the tickets. I'm a, in, I'm probably going to get them like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, but we got the Sea Eagles versus the Rapitos and the Roosters versus the Broncos, man. I'm going to be there for both games, um, assuming nothing goes wrong as far as getting there. But I'm going to buy the tickets this week. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to go see NRL. This is going to be my first time ever seeing rugby in person for real. So I'm going to see the NRL games. And then I'm planning on going to the finals uh, for the Los Angeles Rugby Sevens, which is the day after on a Sunday morning. So we're going to get a little bit of both going at the same time. I'm also planning on going to the All Blacks versus Fiji season opener in San Diego, which is, I believe, is in either June or July as well. So this is a big year, dog. 2024, I'm going to go see Lee. I'm going to see Sevens. And I'm going to see Union all for the first time, bro. It's crazy, man. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I know you guys have been watching me for years, been wanting me to go to some games, do the live games and stuff. And everything's kind of fin uh, finally like falling uh, in place together, man. Let's get into it. Also, I know you see the merch right here. I just got a, I, I just did an unboxing video for the All Blacks because I'm doing, the, um, I got a little partnership with them coming up and we're going to collab on some videos together. Uh, so they sent me a whole care package of merch and stuff. I did an unboxing that will be on the channel either, it's either already on the channel if you're watching this or it'll be up tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. They sent me some some cool shit, man. But let's get into it. Russell Crowe, NRL promo video, man. Russell Crowe has voiced a rugby league explainer as the NRL seeks to teach Americans the code's rules ahead of a show match in Las Vegas. On March 2, the NRL Telstra Premiership season will launch in the Las Vegas Allegiant Stadium with the Manly Sea Eagles taking on the South Sydney Rabbitohs. The Sydney Roosters will also take on the Brisbane Broncos. Russell Crowe is one of Australia's most recognisable personalities and his presence has been used to sell the game to a brand new audience. Yep. Have a listen. Rugby league is football. But maybe not as you know it. Ooh, okay, so it's already fire. Rugby league is football. But maybe not as you know it. I don't even know if I'm doing the accent right, fam. I don't think I am, but... Let's go, dog. And it's at Allegiant Stadium, which is exactly where the Super Bowl was just played at, in Allegiant Stadium. Man. Arguably the fastest, most aggressive, ball in hand football game that exists. Ooh! Rugby league is played on a rectangular field of 100 meters in length with an oval shaped ball that is slightly. Yup, and I just got a rugby ball from uh, the All Blacks actually. They sent me, I've never seen a rugby ball in person. And if I did, I didn't know what it was at the time. <laughs> but they sent me a rugby ball, so I'm definitely gonna plan it. I plan on doing some, uh, some interesting videos with that one on my uh, other channel, man. So make sure. You know, once we ready, make sure to go tap in over there too, man. Let's get it. Be thicker through the middle. It's an 80-minute game, two 40-minute halves, 13 players on the field for each team, four players for each team on the bench, and all the players play both offense and defense. Every player is required to tackle, yep. to pass, yep. and in a given situation, Maybe even to kick. No helmets, no pads, no timeouts, no blocking, no forward passes. Woo! Let's go! Y'all think, uh, you know, when I when I talked to the All Blacks, right? They were telling me, like, it's a battle right now, right? NRL's trying to establish the american audience union is trying to establish the american audience and i know most people who are gonna watch this video are probably league fans more than union fans but either way who do you think would end up taking the crown for establishing an american audience first the biggest american audience first you think it's going to be the league or you think it's going to be union 
it really, to me, it could go either way. It can go either way. I think Americans might like league more, but because of international play and all that and the USA being in union with the USA Eagles, I feel like they have a better chance at establishing that same audience. And because of sevens, too, which is union. So, I don't know. I'm curious to see who's going to take the crown in establishing the, the bigger American rugby audience first. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Oh! The objective of the game is to cross the opposition goal line to score a try, similar to a touchdown. Get up off me. Unlike a touchdown, it's not just about crossing over the line. You actually have to be able to control the ball and put it on the ground with downward pressure. Butcher in there to make the tackle. Took away to Walker. Mitchell, let's go! Mitchell scores! A try is worth four points. Unlike in NFL, the conversion is not just taken from in front of the posts. It is taken from a point perpendicular to where the ball was grounded. Yep. A conversion. That's that's a big game changer. In the NFL, it is somewhat similar. Like you go based on you got the two dashes in the middle, and if you score outside of that, then you go on the edge of that dash, you know. Etc. But that's really based on uh, my fault. That's really based on uh, for field goals, not for for uh, for touchdown extra point field goals. Touchdown extra point field goals is always directly in the middle. But if you're doing a random field goal from the field, you could be slightly to the left, slightly to the right, based on where the ball was last uh, placed. But that whole part right there where you score is a game changer, bro. Because that's why you see people running through the middle, trying to get that even. It's worth two points. Even a penalty extra goal points. can be kicked in the same way. That is also worth two points. There is another way of scoring, which is a drop goal. You drop the ball on the ground first before you kick it. That, done in general play, is called a field goal, and it's worth one point. Beyond 40 meters from the end zone... Yo, drop goals are super impressive, bro, because it's like... To drop it on the ball, you got people coming and take your head off, bro. To drop that ball, kick it, and place it in the right place, bro. That shit is impressive. I already don't know a lot. <laughs> yeah, that shit is very impressive. So that same drop goal is worth two points. Field goal attempt. Oh, 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 in in oh. there. Just like in NFL, there are periods of defined offense and defense. Because of the speed of the game, it's all about strategy on the fly. Instead of four downs, each team on offense has six tackles to attempt to score points. He's gone to the house. This is from the... Uh... This is from the championship, right? That was a hell of a game, bro. That was a hell of a game. Not gonna lie. Though an integral part of NFL, Grand the final. forward pass in rugby league is outlawed. Passes can be backwards or lateral. If an attacking player fumbles the ball forwards, it is called a knock-on, and that will stop the game and possession will change. One of the main objectives of rugby league is to keep the action going. If a minor infringement takes place, a signal will be heard. The tackle play for a long, long time, and there's the result. And the tackle count starts again. When you're on defense, you stop the opposition by tackling the player that's holding the ball. Woo! Tackling players or blocking players who are not holding the ball is illegal in this game. Definitely late. It is. It's set in the bed. Once a tackle player is on the ground or his progress has been halted, they must stand where they're tackled, roll the ball with their foot between their legs to a player behind them, and play continues. And that is known as a play the ball. If a player is tackled in possession of the ball after the fifth tackle, the ball will just go to the other team. And that is Brisbane ball. That's yep. why. That's, those type of rules right there are what make it a lot closer compared to, to American football, NFL. 
that like six tackle rule, if not it goes to the other side, is the closest thing that makes it closer to the NFL versus some weird union. You can go 37 phases. <laughs> you can go 37 phases and keep the ball as long as you as long as there's no penalties, nothing happens, you don't kick it away, you got the ball, you in ball control, you can keep the ball as long as you want. Which I do like, but I also do like this uh concept too, which that's what makes uh that's what makes both disciplines very unique, even though they're similar. After the fifth tackle, a team will generally kick the ball for territory, just like in the NFL when you punt on the fourth down. Mm -hmm. Unlike the NFL, kicking in general play is integral to the game, and there are a number of different types Woo! of kicks. Good catch. You have the grubber kick. You have the chip and chase. Yeah. You have a punt for distance. You have a high punt called a bomb. Kicking is one of the most important strategies of the game and can be very hard to defend against. For the first time, NRL, National Rugby League, is being unleashed in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. Yeah. Vegas, baby. At Allegiant Stadium. March 2nd is coming, and I will be there. I'm going to try to vlog, too. I'm going to try to do a vlog when I go. Uh, I'm going to try to do a vlog, and I'm going to try to do reactions to the games after the fact. Like, I know I'm going to see it live, but I'm going to try to do reactions to what I was seeing when I was seeing it live. <laughs> oh, this is about to be lit, dog. I hope you guys are ready, because I'm ready, bro. In a few weeks, man, we're going to have it. We're going to have it, man. I'm going to be vlogging. Uh, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing it up, man. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited, man. We about to run it up. We covering all rugby this year, bro. We covering all. We going to all the different games, as many as I can. You know what I'm saying? I ain't rich. You know what I mean? But that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Sorry for the pauses. I just, you know, NRL be blocking. Y'all, y'all know how it's been if you've been watching me for years, man. NRL be blocking the video, so I didn't want to have that happen. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to keep watching all my other reactions. Make sure to subscribe. If you're new here, hit that like button. If you like the video and you want to see more, that's it, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare, bro. Always reaches everyone next time. Peace.